Last race I'm bringing you here at Wincanton. It's the Badgers Ale Trophy Handicap Chase. Three mile, one furlongs to go here. For horses rated up to 140. Flashpoint for Leon Van Rensburg. Springed Gate, Darren Thompson. Whitstar Mayhem, Alex Cherry. Gates of Dawn, the favourite for Leon Van Rensburg. Good timing and take the knee, Ryan Tamasevi. Special cargo, Davy Lad. So hard floozy for James Shea. Bon Jaws, Paul Rhodes. Gallagher Origin, Martin Leadham, Pretty Storm, Craig Beckwith, Christopher's Burner, Ryan Costello, Ra Deer for David Hooley, Steeplejack Lad, Graham Clutterbuck, Tullamore Sloan for D French, and Catch Me, Ryan Costello. And the tapes are up. They're off and running here, and it's a short run to this first fence, and Radia just didn't get himself ready for it at all. Ploughed through that one, and that one a faller last week. It's going to have to get its confidence back into its jumping, but Radia is the leader. The black horse towards the rail in the purple silks as they come to the next fence. Got good timing over on the far side. Also racing handy as Bonjours and Soha Floozy towards the rear of the field. We've got Gallagher Origin, Catch Me, Christopher's Burner. Uh, Gates of Dawn and Whitstar Mayhem also towards the rear of the field as they all get over the next safely and come past the stands. And they've jumped three fences so far uh, with another 20 ahead of them here at Wincanton. So Radia still in the lead, just ahead of good timing, who's racing far more towards the centre of the track. Springed Gate racing just in behind those two leaders in third as they come to the next flight and a good jump from the two front runners slightly slow jump towards the rear of the field by Christopher's burner the grey horse for Ryan Costello and good timing has moved up to join uh, Radir a lot closer as they go over the water jump rather than racing out wide uh, good timing to come towards the rail as well springed gate a couple of lengths behind them in third place and then there's a gap of another few lengths back to Bonjours and so half floozy as they come over the next flight we've still got all the runners and riders uh, still in the race at the moment and only the one serious mistake so far from Radia as they come to the next flight all of them over that one safely take the knee steeplejack lad Whitstar mayhem and christopher's burner still towards the rear of the field take the knee winner of the munster national last week looking to follow up with another good handicap prize here good jump from good timing timed that one really well and was able to take a couple of lengths out of Radia and join that one up at the front of the field again a couple of lengths back spring gate in third bonjours uh, in fourth place as they come over the next flight Radia jumping much uh, better after that mistake uh, the very first fence still has a length lead over good timing and Springgate still just in behind those in third Bonjours is travelling uh, traveling strongly at the head of that kind of bunched pack uh, that are a few lengths behind the front three and Flashpoint just tracking that one and Flashpoint came, came into the season uh, with a big reputation hasn't quite lived up to the standards of some of the Leon van Rensburg uh, chasers the type, likes of G.I. Joe um, but Flashpoint certainly not one to give up on just yet and is one of the well fancied runners uh, here in this race today slow jump at the rear of the field by take the knee relegated that one uh, to be the back marker but still plenty of time and lots of fences for these horses left to navigate but the good news is that they're all still standing and still in with a fighting chance here in the Badgers Ale trophy handicap chase better jump there at the rear of the field by the back four and all being ridden pretty patiently and Radia's jumping has certainly improved and that horse starting to get its confidence back as they come towards the next good jump from the leader again. Uh, matched in second place by good timing. Bonjours has moved up to be slightly closer and just in behind Springed Gate. Flashpoint's moved over and is now tighter on the rail than it has been before. Just looking for the other uh, Leon van Rensburg runner, which was the favourite when the race card was coming up. Gates of Dawn, that's racing about as wide as any of them at the moment. Um, just racing on the outside of uh, Tullamore, Sloan, Soha, Floozy, Special Cargo, Gallagher Origin for Martin Leadham still there in the old purple silks bunched right in the middle of that pack chase oh good timings made a bad error at the front of the field and that's allowed spring uh sp spring gate to move up alongside that that one we also lost two at the rear of the field the favorite's gone gates of dawn put in a really bad mistake and unseated the rider and pretty storm was a faller as well so we lost two at one fence 
and uh, good timing also made a mistake uh, at the fence as well so that one really caught out a few of these horses um, but some good jump in there from the whole field slightly slow at the rear of the field was Whitstar Mayhem and Catch Me and Christopher's Burn uh, Christopher's Burner the two Ryan Costello runners are uh, not involved in this race at all and are already tailed off so coming towards the final seven and a half furlongs it's still Radia in the lead has been the leader since the tapes went up Spring Gate just in behind that one so half floozy closer than ever before one make an eye catch in progress from the rear of the field is take the knee that one's closer than it's uh, been at any other time in the race uh, it was held up right in last for the first circuit and a half so as they come over the next radia still there special cargo the gray horse in the blue and pink silks of the yellow hat is also making some eye catching progress and still traveling really strongly in between take the knee and flashpoint so radia still has the lead it's a different challenge to his lead now it's coming from so half floozy good timing in spring gate just in behind that one the jockey now starting to get to work and wanting to make some progress on flashpoint but in order to get that room he's had to push special cargo and take the knee out wide so four furlongs left to go and so many horses still in with a chance here as they come to the next flight flashpoint has now jumped into the lead for leon van rensburg inside the final three and a half furlongs radia is now a seeming to, seemingly toiling as so half floozy has passed that one take the knee He's about to pass it as well. Bonjour, spring gate and good time and all trying to stay on. But in the final two and a half furlongs, it's Flashpoint still in the lead. So half floozy in the green, all green nearest uh, to the rail. Take the knee, trying to stay on down the outside. But coming towards that next fence, Flashpoint put in an awesome leap there and was able to take a couple of lengths out of the field. Bonjour's and Radia are still staying on and are trying to not give up on minor honours. But it looks like minor honours is all they're settling for as Flashpoint gets over the last fence and has a really big advantage over these runners bonjours is staying on special cargo flying home the gray but this race is over already as flashpoint wins by a good few lengths to bonjours in second so half floozy i think and stayed on for third radia fourth and take the knee might have uh, might have held on for fifth or good time and might have passed that one but flashpoints won this one really well for leon van rensburg actually the bigger price of his two runners uh, we lost Gates of Dawn earlier on in the race, so Flashpoint wins it. Uh, second was Bonjour's Paul Rhodes, Sohar Floozy third, Radia fourth, and it was Special Cargo that stayed on to take fifth for Davy Ladd. But the winner of the Badger's Ale Trophy Handicap Chase is Flashpoint.